Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. During the month of April, Gyeonggi Province will be making disaster basic income payments of 100,000 Korean won per person to 570,000 foreign residents living in the province. This is in accordance with the provincial policy to include all residents who are experiencing economic difficulties due to the prolonged pandemic. Payment applications are being received both online and offline from April 1st to 30th. With the 2021 Korea Basic Income Fair slated to run for three days from April 28th to 30th, a website featuring a related 3D exhibition hall and event information opened on April 1st. Visitors to this online exhibition hall can examine important provincial initiatives that are geared to realize the basic economic rights of residents, including basic income, local currency, and basic housing policies. Detailed information can be found on the event website. On March 27th, all sections of Gyeonggi Province's Hanam Rail Line were fully opened, marking the beginning of a new era for Gyeonggi Rail Systems. Extending from Sangyeldong Station in Seoul, this rail line runs 7.7 kilometers through four stations to Gamdan San Station in Hanam City. Hanam Rail Line construction work began in 2015, with the first 4.7 kilometer section between Sangyeldong Station in Seoul and Pungsan Station in Hanam City having opened this past August. With the completion of the remaining 3 km section, the entire Hanam Rail Line is now open. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police recently apprehended 21 unlicensed lenders and loan brokers who victimized small construction businesses by offering loans against promissory notes while charging exorbitant annual interest rates of up to 226 percent as well as illegal brokerage fees. According to the judicial police, a total of 38 individuals fell victim to these illegal loan operations through private loans totaling 12 billion Korean won. With illegal online loan operations becoming more sophisticated, Gyeonggi Province plans to intensify investigations of such practices and expand its range of consultation services for illegal loan victims. On March 29th, Gyeonggi Province signed a cooperation agreement with the Korea Consumer Agency for the enhancement of consumer rights. According to this agreement, both parties will cooperate in related data sharing and issue resolution, as well as in the operation of specialized arbitration and consultation teams. The two parties will also work together to prevent consumer losses, foster consumer education instructors, and undertake joint investigations of consumer-related issues. After signing the agreement, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung expressed his hopes for the swift establishment of a sound market economy in which consumers avoid unfair treatment and suppliers do not engage in unfair practices. On April 1st, Gyeonggi Province opened an online counseling desk for those who are experiencing mental health issues while on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. This desk will support medical personnel, inspectors, and quarantine officials by helping them to recover from stress and depression stemming from prolonged work. Featuring service application pages as well as a free bulletin board, this counseling desk can be accessed via the Gyeonggi Mental Health Welfare Center website. Gyeonggi Province has launched a task force that will operate from April to July to investigate living conditions and cases of abuse impacting those with intellectual disorders so as to protect their human rights. On March 24th, related local administration leaders shared current findings with the provincial government during a video conference. To protect individuals with intellectual disorders who are vulnerable to physical abuse and economic exploitation, this task force will examine actual living standards and abuse cases. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.